Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about how I make money online with my art, um, how I find commissions, um, how I make money like person to person, all that good stuff. Um, obviously I do not make money, like I'm not a full-time artist right now. I have a regular job. Um, so right now I would say on average I can make about hundred extra dollars although I have had a few months where I've made like four hundred dollars from selling art um, and I think I could probably make more if I decided to be a little more hard hardcore in my art selling endeavors but this is just um, a general way to make money kind of passively with your art you, you if you could say that I don't know if it's it's not really passive income in the way that like say Redbubble might be um, but I'll touch on that a little bit too in a sec. So, how I make money. So, recently, um, I've mostly been making my commissions in person for friends and family and specifically for tattoos. I have a whole video that I will link to you um, about how I come up with tattoo designs for friends. Um, but yeah, I've made a lot of money recently just by drawing out reference art for tattoos. Um, right now, I'm drawing a fairy and she's going to be lounging on a mushroom, so I have a friend who wants a kind of like Y2K styled fairy tattoo. I don't know if you remember those very, like, some of them are kind of gothic fairies and like stripy tights and they're kind of Alice in Wonderland themed. Um, if you know, you know. I'll put some pictures up so you kind of get an idea. But yeah, so this is a gift for her because, you know, she's just a good friend. But generally, I'll actually charge 30 to $40 per drawing depending on like how detailed it is and a good rule of thumb is to think of it like per hour so how long does this piece of artwork take to make right so if it takes you three hours to make a drawing you should probably charge church <laughs> you should probably charge about 30 to 40 dollars for that painting about the same minimum wage um, and you can charge more if you would like and you can charge less if you would like you know do what you want to do but try not to undersell yourself um, Art takes time, art is real, it's work, it's labor, um, and it's a service. So don't let anyone like make you feel bad or guilt you into doing things for free unless you want to, unless you are gonna make a gift, right? Um, this probably took me about an hour, hour and a half, and the next fairy drawing took me about an hour, hour and a half. So um, if I was gonna charge for it, I'd probably charge for both pictures, 50 to 60 dollars probably uh, and every drawing is gonna be a little bit different right so unless you're selling on say Fiverr um, for a long time I sold commissions on Fiverr um, and we're gonna get a little bit silly here but I I would do a lot of not safe for work art <laughs> and it would generally be a lot of uh, people in the furry fandom will commission you to do all sorts of crazy stuff and you know this is back when I was in college so I didn't have tons of time to devote just to that and also eventually mentally it just gets a little taxing to do such crazy artwork no offense to furries you do what you want to do but my brain can only handle so much um, but if that is something that you think you would enjoy doing there's a lot of money to be made in the furry community so I would definitely recommend <laughs> trying to if it's just about making money for you I mean learn how to draw some um, animal art furry art and you you will get money you will make money mark my words I probably I think the most m money I made one year um, not one year one month but this was about a year or two ago uh, I made about four hundred and fifty dollars just by making like furry uh, commissions of like original characters and stuff um, you could go all out you could draw full-on scenes like yeah you could you could you be doing some real dirty stuff if you want to but um, just a thought just something to keep in mind but generally on Fiverr how I would have it so I had two accounts so I had one that was more for like I would say deviant art level furry stuff right and that had a username that will be hidden for for life no one will ever know that username because it's just not really my thing again no shame you can like whatever you want to like and then i had another account that was more for logos and product um, designs 
and um, you know web design help so like if you wanted like a wedding layout or something for your website and you had photos that you liked or you know I was pretty flexible I could do a lot I have a lot of um, skill with Photoshop and software like Photoshop um, so I could like design like front pages for web websites and stores and stuff um, just figure out what you are good at and what you enjoy doing um, and something that's fast right so I was pretty good at designing good little logos I could have a whole set of logos in about 20 to 30 minutes and I would charge about five to ten dollars for those logos so I could make a decent amount of money and you have to think again how much time do you want to put into this as a college student who worked I really didn't have tons of time to be drawing furry art and logos um, but I would still be able to make about a hundred and hundred fifty dollars so that was a good way to cover book cost and um, food for the month um, my grocery bill you know uh, and yeah so Fiverr and other websites like that are definitely a good way to make some income without like tons of work and I will also say you do not need to have Photoshop Photoshop is nice especially if you are on like a student plan you can save a lot of money but it's still very expensive to pay for Photoshop and it can be a little bit um, daunting for people who aren't used to it if you've I, I took a class for Photoshop way back in high school so I'm pretty accustomed to it um, I would recommend using a website like Pixlr Canva or pick monkey and I know those have um, subscriptions as well but for most of my editing I actually go with Pixlr because pretty much all of the features are free and it's easy to make templates and stuff for free um, so pretty much everything I need is on Pixlr so I will link those three down below I know pick monkey is kind of tricky because now I think you have to have a subscription to actually download your work which is not great they do have a free trial but I would I, I wouldn't go with pick monkey just because of that and then I know canva also has a lot of features that are free um, but again there are some things that are behind a paywall all all of them are still way cheaper than Photoshop um, and Photoshop does have a few packages that are a little bit better a little bit cheaper but I would still maybe try to stay away from it if you if you know you're not going to use it that often maybe stay away from Photoshop Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about Redbubble because I just recently started putting um, some designs on my Redbubble for stickers and mugs and that kind of thing. So I would say as of right now, I have not made that much. I've probably only made about 20 bucks in sales on Redbubble. Um, and it's hard because it's so saturated. Like there are a lot and lot, 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 lot of artists putting their work on there. I would say my biggest... And this is no offense to anyone, like if you have a very specific and distinct style, that's really great. But I think the best way to go about using Redbubble and other like drop shipping websites like this, where they just put your design on t-shirts for you, is to make designs that have mass appeal, if that makes sense. So a cat logo, you know, or a cat design, or a pretty leaf design, or um, succulents and cacti, things that are popular right now. Um, people will be looking for stickers that, you know, have those motifs and logos and stuff. Stuff that's popular. Um, feathers, you know, that kind of thing. Think of, like, if you look up watercolor on Instagram, the first, like, three or four results with, like, a thousand likes are going to be things like that. Like, pretty aesthetic things. A dream catcher, you know? Um, stuff that people want to put on their water bottles and laptops and that kind of thing. And I get that that could be a little bit boring but generally and this is no offense to you as an artist um but until you become like sort of a known artist a known name people maybe won't be looking for your very hyper specific designs even these fairies that i'm drawing i don't know that someone would necessarily want like a fairy on a t-shirt or a mug possibly but um they're a little bit more specific if that makes sense i and i still might put this on redbubble as like a sticker or something um but I think my best selling design is like a little cat silhouette. I'll put an example up here so you can see I have a cat and a horse and they look like they're made out of flowers and they're, it's like the silhouette of a cat made out of roses and stuff. And that is my best selling. I've made $10 off of that sticker. That's, I've gotten a lot of sales for that sticker, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I would say keep it kind of simple. Keep it kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be your art, right? And if you 
really want to put your like nearest and dearest to your heart like paintings and portraits on your red bubble that's totally cool too um i think mentally it's a little bit better for me to not do that because I tie a lot of my person personhood and my identity with those pieces that have bits of me in them so when they don't sell good I'm like what's wrong with me right and if you're able to like have a good way to distinguish the two of those things then like more power to you you do what you want I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this one with the little swirly designs in the back so I'm gonna probably stop talking for a bit and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video Thanks for watching. Subscribe to join my Goose Cult and I will tell you more art secrets so you can stop being an art plebeian.